Hi there, Geometry. Today we are talking about the volume of pyramids and cones. So first, let's define what those things are. So a pyramid has a base here and the same base here. Now that's because we are looking at a square pyramid just for today. So square pyramid means these two bases are congruent. And then we also have this height. So the volume of this square pyramid is one third of base squared. Now you might realize base squared is the area of the square times the height. So this actually is very similar to the volume equation for a square cylinder or a square prism, forgive me. So that would be a square prism. And the equation for that one, sorry, this picture's a little off. Equation for that one would be base squared height. That would be the volume of this prism. So note that for a pyramid, we just take one third of the square prism. Okay, moving on to the cone. For the cone, our volume is one third. We see that one third again, which is why these two are together. And then we have pi radius squared, where the radius is half the diameter of the cone times the height. So this is a very similar formula to this one because pi r squared, that's the area of a circle. So that's the area of the circle down here. And then we're multiplying it by the height, like we did here for the square pyramid to get our third dimensions there. Then we're taking a third of it. And that is the same as if we had a cylinder, but then we just took a third of it. So the volume formula of a cylinder is just pi r squared h for the volume, while a cone is just one third the volume of a cylinder. So a prism, a square pyramid is one third the volume of a square prism, and a cone has one third the volume of a cylinder of the same radius and height dimensions. All right, now that we understand those formulas, let us look at one and two. So the first one, we need to find the volume of each square pyramid and round to the nearest tenth if necessary. So we need our square pyramid formula. Let's use pyramid and then cone. So those are our subscripts. So I know which one I'm talking about. Volume of a pyramid. And the subscript is a tiny letter that goes underneath the V. Volume of a pyramid is one third base squared times my height. Well, the base is 4 and the height is 3. So it's 1 third, the base is 4 centimeters squared times the height of 3 centimeters. So now this is 1 third times 16 centimeters squared. We just squared both these things in parentheses times 3 centimeters. Now we have 1 third times, we have 16 times 3, well 10 times 3 is 30, plus 6 times 3 which is 18, so 30 plus 18 is 48, and centimeter squared times a centimeter is a centimeter cubed. So now I have one third of 48 centimeters cubed. Now looking at 48, I know actually that 48 is divisible by 3, because 4 plus 8 is 12. And there's that special rule that says if I add these two digits, and that if I divide them, the addition of the digits by 3, which is 12 divided by 3, which is 4, that means 48 is also divisible by 3. So 48 divided by 3, well, 24 divided by 3 is 8, and I need to multiply that by 2, since 48 is twice 24. So then that becomes 16 centimeters. Cubed. You could have also just seen that this 3 cancels with that 3 and gone from there. We do not need to round because we did not have a decimal, but the nearest tenth would be just the first decimal point. Alright, second one. So now we've got a cone and we are finding the volume of the cone and rounding to the nearest tenth if necessary. So now we need our volume of a cone equation, the C being our subscript. And we use one third 
pi r squared h. Here they give us the diameter. Diameter is 10. So I just need to take that one step further. The radius is 5. And then it's 1 third pi 5 inches squared times my height, which is 6 inch inches. Now I have 1 third pi. I need to square 5 in square inches. I get 25 inches squared times 6 inches. Now I have 25 times 6 which is 150 and you can do that in your head by saying 25 times 4 is 100 plus 25 times 2 which is 50 so together it's 150 inches squared times inches is inches cubed now I have 150 divided by 3. Well, I'm going to use my trick again. 1 plus 5 plus 0 is 6. And 6 is divisible by 3. That means 150 is divisible by 3. So I can do 3 goes into 120 40 times. And then I have 30 left over. And it goes into that. 10 times. So then I have 40 plus 10 or 50. So I have 50 pi inches cubed. And it says in terms of pi. That means I leave my pi in my answer. So we just looked at how to cover the volume of pyramids and cones, and you will use this for your workbook problems. Good luck. Can you make a cone out of paper and have a quarantine party?